the best value cinema camera of 2024 may not be what you think. Most cinema cameras will cost you a pretty penny, but out of every camera that's on the market right now, there's one that gives you the most cinema specs for the most affordable price. Now this isn't the new full frame Blackmagic 6K. It's not the Canon R5C or C70. No, it's not the Lumix S5 Mark II X and not even the Sony FX3, but it is something like it. This is the Sony A7S III. Before you freak out and say this is not a cinema camera, please show me proof that the A7S III image is distinguishable from the FX3, and then I'll believe you. But I already know that you can't. The sensor is the exact same as the ever so popular cinema camera, the FX3, but the A7S III is much more affordable. Now in this video, I'm gonna review and share all the cinema quality specs in this camera. And by the end, you may be convinced that this is the best cinema camera that you can get in 2024 and possibly beyond. If you've been wanting to get that Sony FX3 for a while now, just wait you may be persuaded to get the Sony a7S III instead and save yourself some money along the way. But before we jump in, my name is Jonah August. I'm a wedding photographer and filmmaker based in Vancouver, Canada, and I'm happy that you're here. There are a lot of new faces around here, so thank you for your support. If you're new to this channel and you haven't watched any of my videos before, please consider subscribing. Now let's jump right into these specs. This camera can film in 4K, 10-bit, 4 to 2, up to 120 frames per second. Color grading is so important and having this much information in 4K is a huge huge game changer and is enough of a reason to make this an incredible cinema camera. I've done so much filming with the a7S III and the image that it produces is beautiful, which moves right into my favorite log profile in this camera. Shooting in a log profile will always produce the widest dynamic range and high quality color reproduction and the Sony a7S III produces beautiful colors. Filming with the Sony a7S III's S-Log3 profile with the S Gamut 3 dot cine color space produces the best image from this camera. It also has 15 stops of dynamic range in the S-Log3 profile, which is incredibly wide. Having this many stops gives you incredible flexibility in post. This camera shares the same full frame sensor found in the Sony FX3. If you don't know it already, the FX3 is essentially just a rehoused A7S III. This 12 megapixel sensor has dual base ISO at 640 and 12,800. For wedding work during receptions and dancing, I always bump it up to 12,800 ISO, and the image is still extremely clean. It's almost unbelievable how great this camera is in low light. No matter what type of cinematography you're doing, having the second base at 12,800 will come in clutch. The internal battery life of the A7S III is quite impressive. From my experience, a brand new battery can get me around two hours of filming continuously. It also has dual SD card slots and dual CF Express Type A card slots. CF Express cards are designed to support high bitrate recording, which you'll need for filming in 4K 120 frames per second. All cinema cameras should have dual card slots so you can have a backup of your recording. The IBIS is quite impressive and has a really natural look to it. You won't experience any noticeable jello, and handheld footage has that nice cinema-esque look to it. Pretty much all the filming you see on my channel is filmed handheld, and as you can see here, the A7S III, it does an incredible job. Now, if you're keen on autofocus, Sony is the main player in the game. The A7S III autofocus is pretty much perfect, even when using third-party lenses. An important characteristic of a cinema camera is for them to not overheat. If the camera overheats, then it's unreliable for professional work. In my experience, the Sony A7S III has never overheated, and it's never been close to overheating. It has an incredibly clear EVF for bright sunny days or moments when you need to see your image more exactly. This camera also has full-size HDMI, which is reliable, and you can easily connect a monitor to it. And for filming with a minimal handheld setup, the full articulating screen is an awesome bonus of this camera. All right, so you've heard the value of the A7S Mark III regarding specs, but now let's talk about its value regarding price. At this moment, if you bought this camera new, the cheapest price that I found for it was 2,800 US dollars, which is about 3,800 Canadian dollars. And if you can find this camera used, you may even be able to get it for cheaper. Comparing it to the Sony FX3, you're gonna have to spend an extra 1,000 US dollars to pick one of those up instead. But remember, like I said before, it has a exactly the same image. Now, if you bought the A7S III but had the budget for the FX3, you essentially have an extra 1,000 US dollars. You could buy a nice monitor, you could totally rig this camera out, V-mount battery, you'd have the extra funds to do that. That's why I think that this camera has so much more value in 2024 than the Sony FX3 and other cinema cameras on the market right now. 
And this camera is only gonna get better. Sony this spring is gonna be releasing a new firmware update that's gonna give it DCI 4K in 24 frames per second and focus breathing compensation. DCI 4K is a standard in cinema cameras, so this is a really good feature that's about to come to this camera. All right, that is all for today. Now I know the subject is a bit controversial, so please debate about it in the comment section below. I've linked everything that you're gonna need in the description. I wanna know if you think there's a better alternative on the market right now. Let me know in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next video.